So, <laughs> can you talk about um, the decision to just oppose a long-term couple who don't seem to have sex anymore with another younger couple next door in another hotel room? They seem to only get together to have sex. Um, when, well, the script was written, like I said before, it was more obvious, the script, you know, like what happens in the script, and it was supposed to be a comedy. <laughs> <laughs> it, it still is, you know, it is a comedy. I mean, you know, you see a couple quarrel about nonsense, you know, so I think it's funny. I mean, for me, it's funny anyway. It's, 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 it, it's a comedy. So, and, and um, we, we, we thought it would be nice because, because both couples, the, the older couple and the younger couple, both of them are actually playing games. Like, the older couples, they play, let's hurt each other. She's, she knows that her jealousy is kind of baseless. It doesn't have any base. You know, she just feels jealous because the girl is so fearless and she's so straightforward and attractive. She becomes jealous, and he knows that she just want her. She just want him to to hold her or just touch her a bit, and it'll be okay. So he said, "I'm not going to do that." So they they play this game of you know of the long term. In the script, it was not sick, you know, it was more straightforward. Like, but then it, it became more unclear in here. Like I said, you know. I find the, the ending of the film very intriguing. It actually reminds me of um, the end of Monrec Transistor. And your earlier film, and we, we're actually going to screen that film in about two or three weeks. Just check the calendar, it's a wonderful film. And um, in that film, there's a couple, and their relationship is also very much, much damaged. Just when you feel that the relationship is dead, they get back together. And the way they get back together so abruptly, just like in both films, make you feel that this is not possible. It's this, this sarcastic tone, as far as I see, it's like they're together, they're holding hands, or they're in an embrace, but well, they're probably going to split up soon. So, do you have a sense when you are writing that or creating that? Are you trying to make it a sad comedy or a happy one? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 when I made these films, I, 
I didn't, I didn't think people getting back together, as you said abruptly, is not possible. I, I felt that it's possible. So, and for me it's very happy. Because, like this older couple, like I said before, both of them know that if he just touch her, everything will be fine. And that happens to, I think, to all of us, you know, when, we have, when we have relationship and things, you know. We, a lot of times we, we try, to, we know, we just have to do these little things and everything will be okay. Or at least it will be okay for now anyway, I don't know, the, the, the future. But you know it will be okay, just this small gesture would make everything okay. But, but you just say, that, no, I'm not going to do it. You know, in, in many times that, that happened. So when, when, when the game that they play got out of hand, you know, she left him to go somewhere, got drunk and nearly got killed, whatever. She realized, he realized that, you know, it, it's totally, this game has to stop. You know, so, and he knows all he has to do to, to make this game stop is to touch her hand and say that I love you. And so I, I, I didn't feel that it was not possible. And forgiveness is a forgiveness is a is an important thing. You know? Not only in, in relationship, but I think in, in life. You know? Forgiveness is just makes everything kind of okay. Well, I would like to take some questions from the audience. Can we bring them up on the house line a little bit so that I can see them? Thank you. <laughs> I'm speechless. Yeah. Okay, that's a question. 